That's the cookie dance. <laughs> I gotta smell one of the roses. How is it? <laughs> Look at how cute these buildings are that just have ivy like all over them. Ooh. The main squeeze. The main squeeze sounds yeah. great. Oh shit. Bandana. So what did you just say your rating was? I said that was 10 out of 10. Wow. The best sushi I've ever had. What? In my life. Really? 10 out of 10. That lobster tempura with the toasted almond or macadamia nuts was so good. Really? Salmon with the sear on top. I've never had it perfectly seared the perfect temperature, like with a little crisp to it. Wow. God. 10 out of 10, Henley. Oh my gosh, look at this dog. It's like a kid in a candy shop. Oh my God, look at these. Yeah. We survived shopping in Carmel for the afternoon. And there are just so many amazing, cute little stores here. There's a lot of like art galleries. We literally went in one. There was a painting that was $17,000. We were like, oh, and that's our cue. We're gonna head out. <laughs> but we just decided to come here to Carmel for a little weekend trip. And it's just such a cute, picturesque town. And the place we're staying is so cute. And it's such a vibe, like, wait. Okay, that was crazy. We just saw Ross's teammate and his fiance, like mid Carmel driving. But anyway, we are here for just one night. Um, Ross has Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. We do have the player party tomorrow night, which is basically at the beginning of every season, right after the roster comes out, um, the head coach hosts a party for the players. So we're gonna go to that tomorrow, but tonight we decided to just get out of Dodge for a little bit and come to Carmel. It's so picturesque and such a quaint little coastal town. We went to the hotel, then came into the downtown area to do a little shopping and we had a sushi lunch, which so good. Ross said was 10 out of 10. And now we're headed back to the hotel. And then we have a dinner reservation at a steakhouse tonight, which I'm excited to try. It came highly recommended. It's just a fun little staycation getaway. It was only like an hour and a half from um, the bay, which was nice. And the girl is having so much fun. Henley, Henley, are you having a good time? Okay, we're back. The two things we got at downtown Carmel. A dog chew for Henley, obviously. And this really yummy smelling candle. Amber oak moss. It smells so good. Espresso. 
it's literally so peaceful here. I feel like we're staying in some like English countryside cottage, but like still modern. Feels like we're miles away from real life, which is really nice. It's the perfect escape. I'm getting ready for our dinner now. Just a little early so I can like be ready. I'm not really sure. I think we're gonna go potentially walk down to the BEACH. But I just wanna be ready for dinner just in case so that we don't have to like also take time to come back up here, so. I think we might go down to the lobby and have a glass of wine. One of the things I love about this place so far is I feel like they're not stingy. One of my biggest pet peeves with like a nice hotel where you're like paying a decent amount of money is when they are like stingy with the wet bar or, oh my God, I think we have a smart toilet. Do we have a bidet? Wait, wait, I think we might have a bidet. I like it. Something just shot out. <laughs> but anyway, in my opinion, if you're spending a certain amount of money, you should not be having to pay for little stupid snacks in the wet bar. Like that is such a pet peeve for me. It's such a easy way just to give guests like a free little treat or like some water. Like it's not like they have alcohol in there. It's just iced tea and water. It's like just a nice thing to do. Um, and I think it definitely like just elevates the entire experience. So they do that. They also have free breakfast in the mornings, which I'm really excited about. And they tell you that your first glass of wine or beer or like drink or whatever is on them, which I just love. So I just think they're doing things right around here. And the downstairs, the lobby area is actual goals. I am incessantly taking pictures of every piece of decor because the way they've curated the space and just like blended a bunch of different interior design styles is amazing like i love it down there so i'll try to get some more footage to actually show you a little bit better it's like so quaint and cute. i can't stop saying the word quaint like word of the day quaint so the steak restaurant we're going to tonight is called seventh and dolores and we walked past it today in town because pretty much everything in the downtown is like all right next to each other and it looks really cute and just really high just a cool vibe really high ceilings did do a layer of fake tan last night in anticipation for the player party tomorrow. I think I might do one more layer tonight because I have not gotten a lick of sun lately and I just need to like have a good base. So nothing I love better than being with Henley and Ross, eating good food, having a great like craft quality cocktail and being in a fun place. Like name something better. That is my heaven. So, and a bidet toilet, I guess. I've never really tried a bidet before, but I have friends who I won't name here that, um, not that it's like a shameful thing, but I just won't out them. But they love their bidet and talk so highly of it. So I think I need to see what all the hype is about. Ross, are you down to try the bidet? Sure. <laughs> sure. TBD. We will report back if we end up figuring out how to use that. Do a little bit of this. I'm using um, my Dior palette. I actually bought the wrong like shade of this. I meant to buy the like basics one and I accidentally bought the glitz one that's like way sparklier, but it's Dior and I didn't return it on time. So you know what? This shit's getting used till it absolutely is on its last legs um because it is way too nice to just like blow off but i'm just using a little bit of this bronzer color in my crease nothing crazy just to give my eye a bit of dimension drag it down on my nose a little bit okay more than that water for that tea okay cool appreciate it <laughs> wow, that is good.
We forewent the fancy dessert at the restaurant because I mentioned getting an ice cream sandwich and I convinced Ross, so we're gonna split this. This is my childhood. My dad and I got these pretty much any gas station we went. Like these are so fire. Henley girl. Henley girl, you got the slipper. Hey, you got my slipper. Oh my gosh. Wait, you're, I should have got a quiche. Oh, maybe not. That's horrible. We ordered vitality shots. Oh god. I'm scared. Cheers. Cheers. Are you gonna go? Yeah, are you? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, okay. It wasn't bad at it all. It smelled way worse than it tasted. <laughs> Somebody is jealous. <laughs> This one's all glass. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> 